we need to understand besides, you know, I spent quite a bit of time on the contentment thing, but the other main point of having a good relationship with God, and this, and this theme came up multiple times, whether you're looking at it from the angle of love or respect or obedience, it's, it really is following the commandments and obeying God. It, 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 we see that come up over and over and over again. And to have that good relationship with the Father, God is way more concerned about your obedience even then he is with something that you can just do that's real great for him, some great sacrifice you could make. If you're to make some really awesome sacrifice one time, be like, God, man, I'm going to do this for you, but you're not obeying him. God would rather you not give that sacrifice and just be obedient. God's not looking for you to make the big sacrifice. He already made the sacrifice for you. Okay. And it's not bad or wrong to do a sacrifice. But I'm just saying, get your priorities right. He wants you in obedience. I mean, think about, think about it this way. Like if, if, if one of my children didn't listen to me, they weren't really doing a good job of listening to what I tell them to do. So every day it's just like, look, man, well, just, just do what I'm telling you to do. Just listen to me, obey me. But then one day they're like, hey, dad, I love you so much. You know, I saved this money. I bought you this great thing. And they make this big sacrifice for me. I would much rather instead of having whatever that thing is, whatever that sacrifice is, I'd much rather they just on a daily basis just being obedient to me, right? And it's not that, that making that sacrifice is a bad thing. It's just if I, if I cho it would, was going to choose between the two, I, I, it would just be so much better. Our relationship would be so much better if you just listened to me all these days. It would be way better because that one sacrifice is, is short. That one sacrifice is something, okay, well, yeah, thanks, but... I'd much rather you just be listening to me. And this is the way that God, God's attitude is as well. In, in 1 Samuel 15, 22, when, he, when Samuel's talking to Saul, the Bible says, And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken in the fat of rams. See, this is where Saul was disobeying the word of God by making the sacrifice because Samuel wasn't there. And it was Samuel's job. It wasn't Saul's job. He wasn't supposed to be doing that. The Saul had no place and no business offering up the sacrifice to the Lord. But he's thinking, well, I just need to make this sacrifice. He's like, no, just obey. You do what you're told to do. Don't disobey. This sacrifice is meaningless when you're disobeying God. God's not impressed with you stepping in and doing the sacrifice when you're disobeying him. Like, just be obedient. And if we're going to have that good relationship, we need to remember that, hey, you know, he's not, God's not expecting you to do these just super fantastic, great things and make these huge sacrifices, but he wants you to obey him. He wants you to do what he has for you to, for, for you to do. And, and that will make God happy and that will give you a good relationship with your heavenly father. Just do what he's telling you to do.